Hi, welcome to uh, Fyros, Fyros Reborn with me, Fyros, um, with my t-shirt number three from, whoops, yeah, from my um, recent set of five t-shirts that I've made. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, I like the font. I actually think I like the font more than anything. Um, yeah, the picture's fine. Anyway, um, so a bit of a strange video just now. I've had a couple of drinks, but so, well, maybe that's affecting my um, brain. <laughs> Obviously, it is affecting my brain, but how, I just don't know. So, I want to do something different to normal. The Forest is story time um, thing that I'm normally doing. I'm going to chuck that out the window somewhat. Um, but then again, it kind of is a fire a story time. It's just a more of an imaginative story time. I've just <clears throat> randomly had this idea um, to describe some of the spiritual visions that I've been having lately. Um, they're nothing like, I don't know, calling it a spiritual vision makes it sound much more um, haughty and lofty than it is. But I feel like there's something that I want to convey um, and I, I kind of feel like I don't have enough energy to convey it in drawings at the moment because I've got like, I've got all these kind of images in my head about things I want to draw, but there are far too many of them. So in a way, I just want to kind of say them just so that I can get them out of my system a little bit to relieve the pressure. <laughs> so, um, without further ado, let me guide you on a mystical um visionary tour okay so it might help if you close your eyes for this <clears throat> um so i just want you to think about leaves um so start thinking about all the different leaves that you have seen in your life um, and the different types of leaves that you've seen, the different shapes of leaves, the colours of leaves, green leaves. I'm feeling mainly green at the moment. Lots of very full and thick green leaves. Um, and I'm focusing more on the actual leaves themselves. And they're these kind of like, they're like heart-shaped leaves, if you know what I mean. They're these heart-shaped leaves. Um, or spade-shaped leaves, you know, they look like those spades from um, the card decks, but they're heart heart slash spade-shaped, and they're very thick feeling, and they're green, very rich green, okay? And I just want you to get a sense of those leaves being everywhere. If you can just get a sense of one of them, one really vivid green, thick feeling um, leaf, <clears throat> and then start to multiply that so we can begin to have the feeling of a jungle. <clears throat> so you've got these rich green leaves everywhere. Now the thing with jungles for me is I don't like the insects in jungles. The insects the insects are not welcome in my vision here. You know, It's not a real jungle in that same way. This is more like a kind of Garden of Eden type of jungle. But, um, so it's a jungle where there are only friendly things, basically. So these green leaves are everywhere. Um, and then there are animals in here. Now, there are animals that might normally be dangerous, but they're not dangerous anymore. So you've got, like, a, you've got a cougar in there. There's a fox. Um, there are all these green, rich green leaves everywhere. So it feels a little bit like Aesop's Fables, that kind of feeling. Um, but the animals that are there are not harmful and um, they don't even they don't even feed on each other like so these animals are there as spiritual animals like they don't require sustenance from the natural world they're just there they're already there they have sustenance enough from their spirit so there are these animals you know snakes but everything is Everything is calm. They don't need to feed on anything anymore. So they just walk around and they're more like, um, they're just there to enjoy the garden or the jungle. 
So they um, they walk around and they they talk and they sit and they play, but they're not really they're not in hunting mode anymore. They don't care about that. They rest and they walk around and they just sort of look at things. <laughs> it sounds kind of boring in a way, and in a way, I want them to fight something, but not not right here right now. And then I'm getting images also of these clouds that are this swirly kind of magical, mysterious clouds, like clouds you f you find in pictures of God, the kind of cloud that God is sitting upon, or the kind of clouds that surround Jesus, or the kinds of clouds that you find in Buddhist paintings that are stylized. They've got this swirly nature to them. They're swirly, and but the thing about these clouds is that they... The thing with our normal clouds in the sky is that oftentimes they seem a bit vague. You know, they don't have defined shape. Um, and it's only when you really intensely look at the clouds that you, you see them as particular things. Well, these clouds in this place, if you look in the sky, they're very swirly. They, um, they have a defined form, but you know they're clouds. So they have the vagaries of being a cloud, but they have this definition to them as well so they're kind of intelligent clouds you know they're not just um vague and unformed they form patterns and shapes and swirl around like that um and it's those clouds that you start to get the sense of there's this mysterious presence um and they're they're kind of gray but becoming whiter and brighter as you go closer to the center and so they're kind of swirling around in this swirly pattern. And then you've got like, it's a bit like the sun, but it's more like a vortex, a kind of portal. So it has the feeling of being a black hole, but also having white light shining through it and yellow light. So it's like the sun, but it has this infinite vastness as well. And we could picture that as being source or God. So it's so bright, you can't tell what it is. It doesn't have form um, and it's so dark and deep that you could go into it forever so it's both coming out towards you in fullness and brightness and that love and it's going backwards away from you in into infinite mystery and void so you get the wisdom dimension from diving into it and you get the fullness of presence and being by its light shining towards you and then um I'm getting feelings of the different deities and prophets, so uh, I do apologise if I don't hit your particular religion, but I've got Jesus in there, I've got Moses in there, um, I've got Buddha in there, sat under a tree, radiating his, um, his halo of light, and um, strangely Ganesh is not in there, even though Ganesh is one of my most relevant deities at the moment and it's very strange that I'm even thinking about Ganesh because I kind of <laughs> never really cared about him and I wish that I had different deity actually I'd rather have a different deity I don't want Ganesh anymore <sighs> I want a different deity yeah so he's not actually in there um but we've got this sense of the jungle and it's rich and it's vibrant and now there are these flowers opening up but these flowers they're not just normal flowers they have this presence to them they have this kind of the flowers are there as a representation of love of beauty of presence and so when they open they're opening to say yes they're opening to say i'm even more rich and intense and present and powerful and beautiful than I was when I was closed and um, and so Jesus is there so I feel Jesus in there um, he is the white man version of Jesus <laughs> okay and he's wearing white robes he's very white overall his, his kind of aura is all the color of white this white light um, and he has this intense power so that he kind of connects directly with that source, um, the God um, in the center of the clouds. 
and he he channels that force of the light coming forward through the clouds and he brings that in and he Jesus is is manifesting his desires but they're not his personal desires they're that same source desire that is just a an expression of outward fulfillment so the that light and fullness and richness coming from that source void around the I'm sorry in the center of those clouds that is being channeled through Jesus as a human um, so not only do we see it in the sky as this image but it's also its power is channeled through Jesus and it seems to be channeled through his throat um, throat chakra and as he moves that energy through and forward and outwards the light and the intelligence and the um, power of that source energy through the throat and outwards in through his hands as well is um, just like as he moves his will and his mind and his hands he just changes things in the scenery so um, more flowers grow for example wherever he decides them he's just kind of like wafts his intelligence which is streaming from those clouds behind him and directed through his human body um, and out into the world so is so Jesus here is is kind of a funnel he's funneling this massive infinite power source behind him um, and he's like he's also a kind of projection of that so the source consciousness behind him this vast power pushing through him is actually also what is animating his whole body so we see that and the um leaves i feel like the leaves that he wants to jesus in this vision he wants to um make more of them because at the moment i've only really got one very strong leaf there I and mean, there's like the sense that there are lots of other ones but they're quite vague so in a way jesus is trying to he wants to bring more of these leaves out but there is a sense of struggle that, that for some reason these strong vital rich leaves are not wanting to um, expand so he, he kind of has to put more of this divine energy into them and to kind of say you are you may you may you're allowed to you may grow um i think that's all i've got <laughs> for the moment yeah but that's nice in itself um hmm. okay just thought i'd share that with you um hmm I don't know if you want to go into that further, go into your own version of this garden jungle place with this spiritual energy everywhere and feel the power of that for yourself. Okay, so that has been 
Pyros' story time with me, Pyros, and say goodbye to Kali, which is the, uh, oh, she's Indian goddess of um, time and destruction, I think, and other things as well. I really need to brush up on my <laughs> deities. I mean, I draw pictures of them and I talk to them all the time, but do I know what they're about? <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. hope you enjoyed that. That was interesting, different. Bye.